another week, another weekend. Welcome to Carl's backyard, feeding the fish, relaxing in the sun. It's not too cold out. Look at how nicely all the, the leaves pile themselves up. So I could, in theory, just take my net and scoop the leaves out of there. Of course, I'm not going to do that right now. I might do it later. I might do it tomorrow. But right now, I've got other stuff that I should be doing. But you sit down and start feeding fish and watching them, and really, you just, you know, that's a much better plan than anything else you had on the schedule. And this time of year, they all move in slow motion up until they grab food. I think they're comfortable now. When they first came up, you can see platinum fish there. He kind of comes up super slow motion swimming across the pond there. That's what I'm doing now. What I should be doing, swish pan, is tilling that side of the yard, or trying to till that side of the yard, to get all the gook and all the stuff mixed in, and get the clay spread out, get it kind of leveled back off, get it ready for planting in the spring. So what I should be doing, we'll check back in later and see how far I got. After 20 hours of trying to start the tiller, I've given up and I went up to Home Depot and I rented a tiller. It's, it's a much smaller tiller, it's a lighter tiller. The reasoning there of course being I can fit this one in the back of the trunk, I can't fit a bigger one in the back of the trunk. So I got this little tiller and hopefully it'll be able to get the job done. We'll see how it goes. And so this is as far as I got. I did a lot of tilling with a smaller than ideal rented tiller and managed to somewhat get it level at least, not necessarily as level as I'd like, chewed up as I'd like, but I did make a massive amount of, of progress. The giant pile used to be over there, it was all cleaned up, but yeah, I did get that chewed up. I got the clay covered with sawdust over there and bark over here. The wood chipper did work long enough to chip up one yard bag worth of bark before it well, ran out of gas and then I refilled it and tried to start it again and now it pours gas out the carburetor. It was standing on its nose right now. That seemed to stop it from leaking gas. I'm not going to deal with it here in the middle of winter. I do still have sawdust pile to shovel into the wheelbarrow, take over, dump out, right around. Don't know if I'm actually going to bother doing that. I'm not doing it today, I know that for sure. I might do it this coming up weekend. And I did come out, and for the first time in several days, at least over the weekend, uh, I looked at the fish. Just to look at them. They're not... They're not in the mood to be fed. The water temperature got cold, so we stopped feeding them. And now I'm missing four of the largest fish. I can't find them. They're probably just tucked away in a cave because it's cold. They don't feel like swimming around. It's exposed to predation, but they hopefully swim into a cave and stretch themselves away for a while. I was missing five fish when I first realized that, that they weren't all in there. Blue tiger fish swam out a little bit ago, but I was out here for a good 10 minutes before I saw him swim out. Reducing the count of fish that I haven't seen to four, so it's a little concerning. Other fish I'd expect to see out swimming around, if anybody's swimming around. And I've been out here and looked and they haven't swum out. It's not entirely unheard of that the fish will go and they'll swim in one of the caves and take themselves away days before seeing them again. Some of the fish in there now, I didn't see at all last winter, and it's definitely gotten cold overnight. So hopefully the fish will just put themselves into a cave and are hanging out. A little worrisome that other fish will swim into the cave and swim out the other end, and the missing fish won't follow them. I'm encouraging though, because some of the fish that are swimming around would swim most of the way into the cave, and then they'd pause, like in the entrance, in the hole, in the doorway to the cave, and just hang out like they were looking or talking or whatever with the fish that was in the cave and being like, why don't you come out and swim around, it's fun. And the other fish in the cave are like, no, it's cold, I'm just going to sit here and chill. See, there they go, swimming in the cave. And he stops, he turns around right there, he doesn't swim all the way in. He didn't swim out the other side. It sounds like he just swims in to see if the other fish are still in there and then he swims back out. So after yesterday not being able to locate four of the fish in the pond, I came out this morning where it's definitely a chilly morning and looked around to see that there are no fish visible in the pond this morning.
time to conclude the saga. And there is Kabuki fish, the last of the missing fish. Not nearly as missing as he had been the last two days. And the rest are all in there as well.